Hello, my name is Zilli and I am here at Craft Music to discuss some of the many uses and possibilities of Roland's Ira Compacts. Roland's ultra portable instruments with internal lithium ion batteries that serve up far more than you would expect from their size, squeezing in decades of Roland's technology and sounds. These are perfect for versatile portable jamming and performance. They can easily be connected together in various combinations and are ideal to slide into any existing setup. The Ira Compact series was first introduced in 2022 with three models. The T8 Beat Machine, a powerhouse of both drums and bass, featuring iconic Roland TR drum instruments and TB-style bass synthesizer. The J6, which offers lush Juno chord sounds and easy to use but powerful phrase creation with built-in genre and style sets. And the E4, for immediate vocal transformations and effects, as well as a built-in looper. One year later, the S1 was released a remarkably powerful polysynth based on the legendary SH-101. And now, the newest addition to the family, the P6 Sampler, which celebrates classic sampling techniques in a go-anywhere design and features robust internal effects as well as being an audio interface for smartphones, tablets, and computers. All Ira Compacts are stacked with unrivaled connectivity to play nice together as well as with any other external gear. Chain audio with quick control over the volumes of each unit and use MIDI or analog sync to keep things moving together and make performances even smoother. Class compliant USB-C connectivity on each unit allows for easy recording and streaming to smartphones, tablets, and computers. Let's get started with the T8, S1, and P6. First, let's take a look at our connectivity. For this setup, we will use both audio and MIDI. The audio is inputted through each unit and passing to the final audio output in the chain using 3.5 millimeter TRS cables. The MIDI is also connected in a similar fashion. In this example, we will focus on a MIDI function called program change. So the T8 is gonna be delivering our drums as well as our bass line. The S1 is gonna deliver some synth stabs for us. And then finally, the P6 will be triggering a sample of piano loops. So with our MIDI connected, I can press the pattern on each of my units. And you see here, I'm on pattern 404. Because I have the MIDI functionality triggering program change when I ship my main encoder, it corresponds with all of the other units. This is a powerful way to bring in different music variations or new arrangements.
Now, let's take a look at the latest Ira Compact to join the family. In this demo, we'll focus on some of the sampling capabilities of the P6. The P6 can sample a variety of ways, including its built-in mic, the USB-C, or your audio input. Once audio is sampled, it can be chopped, pitched, or placed in chrom Once audio is sampled, it can be chopped, pitched, or placed in chromatic mode. Sampled audio can also be transformed even further using some deeper synth settings. Let's take a look. So in this demo, let's use the S1 to generate sound to sample into the P6. I'm going to utilize pattern 102 on the S1. And if you notice, I only have audio connected. I don't need MIDI in this example because I don't really care if it's in time as it will be sampled, chopped, uh, potentially pitched. If you look at my P6, I am on bank G and I have empty pads here. So to sample, I just press my pad, hit sample, and here I can make some pretty cool options on how I want to take that audio in. I can do mono, I can do stereo, I can use the lo-fi button to down sample if I'd like as well, and then I can set some length as well as threshold of when it will automatically start taking the sample in. Let's give it a shot. Now once my sample is complete, I can manipulate the audio in quick and powerful ways. Currently I have my sample gated. I can add some lo-fi vibe to it, as well as reverse it, loop it, or put it in a chromatic mode. To get into the chop, I just hold down shift and press voice. Then I use my main encoder here and scroll until I see chop. Right now it's off. I can Turn the encoder again to select how many chops I'd like. You can do a ton of these, but we're just going to do eight. Exit out of there, and now when I press keyboard, it'll be chopped into eight samples. Let's take the sample back out of chop just so I can show you some pitching. Here I can adjust pitch, start, and end of my sample. You can also sample with MFX on. Let's also add a sample using the built-in microphone. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the S1. And I'm going to look for an empty pad on my bank. Now I'm going to add a sample with a built-in microphone by pressing the empty pad. I'm going to hold down sample and make some adjustments here. Let's go with just mono. And let's go ahead and down sample that one. And we'll make the adjustment length like so. And here we go. 
Hey, hey, hey. Up the gain level just a little bit. Hey, 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 hey. Cool. We'll get some natural reverb from the room. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, 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 let's go. And let's take a listen. Hey, hey, yeah, 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 let's go. Hey, 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 yeah, 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 let's go. Perfect. All right, let's add a beat to this. Let's take a look at an out-of-the-box feature using the S1 as a controller for the P6's granular engine. The connectivity on this example is just MIDI. When I align my MIDI channels for the S1 and the P6 granular channel, I get tons of hands-on control over the granular synth automatically mapped out. Let's take a look. Another great feature with the Ira Compact line is using external MIDI controllers. 
Here we've connected the S1 to the Roland A49. Now let's take a look at the T8, S1, and E4 vocal transformer. In this setup, we will use sync and audio connectivity along with the E4's vocal capabilities and effects with our microphone. Let's start with sync. For live starts and stops, the sync connectivity will allow me to stop and play the synchronized units in real time with more accuracy than using the MIDI clock. Now let's use the E4 to bring in some vocal effects. I'm going to use some delay and scatter. Next, let's take a look at the E4, J6, and P6. In this setup, we will use the J6 to send MIDI harmonies to the P6. We'll also look at the P6's standout ability to pass not only its internal audio, but also external inputs through USB-C to a phone, tablet, or PC. 
Lastly, we'll showcase how the P6 can act as an effects processor for any incoming audio. In this scenario, we will be using audio and MIDI connectivity. First, we will send harmonies from the J6 to the E4. Make sure your MIDI channels are aligned to start playing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Next, we will check out the P6's powerful and convenient capability to pass audio through USB-C to phones, tablets, or PCs. To do this, we connect directly for any PC or Mac from the P6 using USB-C. When using phones and tablets, we need to make sure to power on while holding down the step button C. And there you have it, the full IRA Compact line. These mighty machines pack a punch as solo units or teamed up to unlock limitless potential. Try them in different combinations to see for yourself just how powerful these units are. For a great deal, be sure to check out the bundles at Kraft Music. Whether you're looking for an individual IRA Compact unit or the entire family of five. Craft has you covered with cables, microphones, USB power, and everything you need to get up and running on your IRA Compacts. My name is Zilli. Until next time, peace.